you're in the right place if you're here looking for listening, not reading practice. If you want to hear a speaker and decide where does she divide up her thought groups and not notice that with the writing punctuation. Also, if you want the steps so that you can get better at listening to hear those boundaries between one thought group and another. I'm SLP Carey, and I assure you, there's a huge difference between reading and listening. And there's also a huge difference between writing and speaking. Step one, we're going to listen to speaker Jeannie. And as you're listening, I want you to do some kind of a movement, either snap, clap, or slice. Whenever you think you hear Jeannie, divide up her speech. Excuse me, ma'am, what are you doing? So take a moment, snap, clap, or slice. I'm looking for the toilet. That is a door to the outside. The toilet is right over here. Thank you. Focus on only the woman in the uniform. That's Jeannie. Uh, that's a wall. Uh, the toilet is a door next to it. I'm not giving any feedback yet. Oh. No, no. You, you push. Push the door. No. Push. It won't open. I got it for you. Go ahead. Although it was hard, I didn't want to influence what you were hearing. So I didn't share any of my thoughts. For this next time through, you'll listen first. And then you'll compare where you heard thought groups divided with where I heard them. Excuse me, ma'am, what are you doing? For the first utterance, I heard two thought groups. Excuse me, ma'am. And for the second one, that question, I heard it as one unit. What are you doing? Excuse me, ma'am. What are you doing? How does that compare with what you heard? I'm looking for the toilet. That is a door to the outside. The toilet is right over here. I found Jeannie's utterances to be quite, her thought groups to be quite lengthy for both of these utterances. So I heard these as long utterances, both of these. So it was like, that is the door to the outside. The toilet is right over here. Did you hear more thought groups than I did? Thank you. Uh, that's a wall. Uh, the toilet is a door next to it. So the first one I heard a shorter thought group. That's a wall. And then a longer thought group. The toilet is the door next to it. That's a wall. The toilet is the door next to it. Did you hear more thought groups? Oh. No, no. You, you push. Push the door. No. Push. It. This time I heard many very short thought groups. No, no, you push, push the door, no push. Did you hear as many as I did? Won't open. I got it for you, go ahead. And for this final section, I heard two thought groups. I got it for you, go ahead. You might have picked up that hearing thought groups and using thought groups it is personal so there's no why well, there's no like right or wrong in terms of what you heard compared to what i heard the, ne the next time we're going to listen we're going to check ourselves whether we heard a thought group we should be able to identify one word the focus word as the word that stood out more than the others. Excuse me, ma'am, what are you doing? For this section, I heard the words excuse, ma'am, and doing as the focus words. 
Excuse me, ma'am, what are you doing? I'm looking for the toilet. That is the door to the outside. The toilet is right over here. Thank you. I heard two focus words, outside and here for this section. That is the door to the outside. The toilet is right over here. Thank you. Uh, that's a wall. Uh, the toilet is a door next to it. So the focus words, wall, door. That's a wall. The toilet is the door next to it. Oh, no, no, you, you push. Push the door. No, push it. So the focus words, there's quite a few here. No, no, push, door, and push. No, no, you push. Push the door. No, push. Well, open. I got it for you. Go ahead. So my focus words were got and ahead. I got it for you. Go ahead. What did you think of three repetitions of that entire video clip? Was that way too many? Or do you wish that I had put in a fourth one? This, the fourth one would have been listening to the sections and then comparing with the transcript.